Madam Mr. Mayor, Pender. yes, I have a uh, special award that I'm giving tonight. It took me about 30 years to prepare this speech, but it only take me three minutes to say. It, it's an honor to be here and see all of you children here. And what I have to say is, is heartfelt because I was your age when this happened to me. When I was young, I used to travel the courts of Opelok and North Dade. And one day I saw an individual pick up a basketball, dribble about three or four feet. And it seemed to me he threw from the free throw line and dunked over about eight or nine people. The next morning I was eating breakfast at the late, great, honorable Dr. Robert B. Ingram's breakfast table. As I was telling his story about what I saw to his wife and him, his brother walked through the back kitchen, Lorik Ingram. He simply asked me, would you like to meet that individual? I said, sure. Later that day, we went out to the basketball court and there he was. He spent two hours with me, teaching me skills that I would use for the rest of my life. Further on, he went to Carroll City High School. I never missed a game. If I had to travel, bus, plane, boat, I was his biggest fan. Homing those skills that he taught me, I practiced every day, three hours a day for two years. I became an all-day basketball player myself. That's you right there? <laughs> <laughs> What's significant about that is I was able to gain a scholarship to Chaminade Preparatory School and Pace High School. I saved my parents $40,000. During that time, he went to the University of Kentucky. I traveled on the bus to see every one of his games. Slept on his dorm room floor, slept on his couch. I liked college. I wanted to go. Later, he went to Florida State in Tallahassee, didn't miss one of his games. I liked college. I wanted to go. The theme I'm trying to say is be careful what you do to someone because it might turn out good. Later on, I went to college. Full scholarship, Weber Universities, homing those skills that he taught me years ago that I practiced for three hours a day. At 19 years old, I traveled to Inglewood, California every other week to see him play. At 19 years old, I was rubbing elbows with Magic Johnson, Kareem Abdul Jabbar, James Worthy, because he thought it not robbery to take time for a 12 year old for two hours on a basketball court. Every away game, there was tickets left for me at will call, just because. When you look at Terrence Pender today, you see a little bit of this person that I'm gonna introduce to you, a Opalakian. Who said great things don't come from Opalaka? I want all of you to stand, give a round of applause to this person right here, three-time NBA champion from Opelika, Irvin Thomas Jr. If my colleagues can join me as we present the proclamation, Mr. Irvin, it took me 30 years to say thank you, thank you, and thank you. 